Welcome once again. This is Emerson Kwenje from Top Research Center. Today I want to move on to lecture number 10. In lecture 9, I showed you how you can do uh, univariate analysis using SPSS syntax editor. But today I want to move on and look at how you do bivariate analysis using the SPSS syntax editor. As you know, by means two, so we are looking at the relationship between two variables. The concepts I am going to look at today are the correlation, I will look at the independent t-test and the cross tabulation. You find that when we are talking of the correlation, usually we use the correlation when we are looking at uh, two scale variables and we use the independent t-test when one variable is uh, nominal and the other is uh, scale variable but we use cross tabulation where we have both nominal variables so without uh, much ado let me uh, move on to the next stage it open up my syntax editor and show you how we do correlation independent t-test and cross tabulation using SPSS syntax editor here I have opened the SPSS syntax editor which we were using in the previous lectures so the first thing we want to do is to look at correlation so as I have already told, told you, it is important for you to add comments when we are looking at um, our data analysis using SPSS editor. It help you to remember whatever you have done or if you send it to your professor or your lecturer would, would know how you have done a certain procedure or what uh, was the purpose of any analysis which you have done. So in this case I'm going to look at correlation first. So I can add a comment here for example correlation correlation between height and between height and weight and then it dot at the end this is just a comment i'm look i want to look at whether there is any correlation between height and weight of the participants in this data set So to get that, I can just type C O R R. Then I will write the variables which I want to use. In this case, we have a variable called height in meters. I want to use the variable which is height in meters. I write in M and then space, then weight. I have a variable weight. So these are the two variables which I want to look at whether there is a relationship between the an individual's height and weight. I highlight it and run it. This is what I get. Remember. This side is a mirror image of this side. So it gives how many participants are there, the number of participants involved, and it shows me, it shows me whether it is, it is significant. It is very significant. As you can see, it's 0.000, which is less than uh, 0, 0, 
1. So it shows that it's very significant there is a relationship between the two. But as you can see, there is a positive relationship between height and weight. And this is the Pearson score relation. So you find that the Pearson core relation shows that there is a positive relationship between height and weight. And it is statistically significant as shown by this because it's below 0 0.5. So it is statistically significant. So we can say when the height increases, weight also increases. So those who, who are taller in this data set tend to weigh more in kgs compared to those who are shorter and they tend to weigh less so there is positive relationship in terms of height and weight as weight as height increases weight also increases so you find that this Pearson score relation can help us to calculate the coefficient of determination, the R squared. To get the R squared, you can multiply this twice, or you can square this. If you square this, you find that you get 0 0.2937. So that will be your coefficient of determination. But it is also important when you are dealing with correlation to come up with a scatter graph which shows the general trend or the general relationship between the two variables which you are working on. So let me go back into my SPSS editor and go down here where I said graphs. I want to come up with a scatter plot which shows the relationship between height and weight. So let me have a comment first. Uh, I can just write scatter plot. Cutter plot between height and weight. Then I can, after writing the comment, you write graph slash. Scatter plot. Open parenthesis, then by varied by just B I V A R for by varied, and then close the parenthesis, and equal sign. Scatter plot for which variables? In this case, height in meters. Height in meters. With what? With weight. And then a dot at the end. So this is the syntax or the command. If I were to highlight this and run it, this is, is what comes up. 
a scatter plot showing we have weight here and we have height. So by me looking, it shows that as height increases, weight also increases. This is there is a positive relationship between the two. As evidenced by the Pearson correlation, the scatter plot also shows the same. If we were to double click here, you find that this comes up and we can add the line of best fit or the regression uh, line, the regression line. If we click there, you find that this line of best fit comes up. And this is a regression equation associated with this line. If I would close and close, you find that I have now the line of best fit and my scatter plot. And the R squared, which I have told you that if you square this, you get the coefficient of determination. This is the one which we get here. This can help you also to determine what we call the effect sign. The effect size is very important when you are looking at a correlation. You find that we can say that 29, we can multiply this by 100. 29.3% of the variability in weight can be explained by height. So 29% of the variance or the variance in weight can be explained by height. So you find that we know that now there is positive relationship between the two and we can use this uh, coefficient of determination to come up with the effect size because we are using COIN 1988 effect size scale because according to COIN it says if the percentage is 9% uh, or less we have this uh, a, a small effect but if it is between 10% and 25%, we talk of medium effect. But if it is over 25%, there's large effect. So this shows that there's a large effect between uh, these two um, variables. Height is a large effect in determining the weight of An individual. So you find that why it is 29.3% is that we cannot explain the weight of an individual basing on height only. There are other F factors last such as exercise, diet and other uh, factors. But height on its own, it contributes about 29.3% 20, in explaining the variations or the differences in weight among the participants in this data set or in this survey. So this is generally how you calculate uh, your correlation or you come up with correlation using SPSS syntax. I can give you another example but my lecture will be very long. So I think this illustration will give you guidelines on how you can calculate correlation using SPSS now let me move on and look at the independent t-test. 
to begin with let me have a comment uh, independent t test t test then a dot at the end to do the independent t test we have to write t test we write t test then you write groups then which groups do we have we have to, before writing the groups we have to put an equal sign and we are looking at sex we want to look at if there is a significant difference if if there is a significant difference between males and females in terms of their bmi So the variable, we know that one represents males and then a comma and a two is for females and then you close the parenthesis, then slash, then you write var, the variable, we want is equal to b m i and then a dot so we want to see if the differences in bmi are related to the differences in gender is there a significant difference between males and females in terms of their BMI? If I were to run this, this is what I get. You find that we have the summary. Yeah, group summary, group statistics. And then this is the independent t test which we have. The Laven test of equality variance is here. And where we are interested is these figures, the significance. It shows that there is a significant difference between males. And females in terms of their BMI. But remember, when we are dealing with the independent T test, we have to consider the Lavin test of equality of variance. When the Lavin significant value is below 0.05 we have to consider the second row which is equal variance not assumed equal variance not assumed if the Lavin test is above 0 0.05 we consider the top row which is equal variance assumed we consider this data but in both cases here uh, you find that they are significant they they is a significant difference between males and females with regards to BMI. But we have to consider this information. So the, our t-test is this one because the Lavin test is below 0.5. So our t-test is 7.325 and then degrees of freedom and it is significant. 
so we have a significant difference between males and females in terms of their BMI. So this is how you come up with an a, a independent t-test using SPSS syntax editor. And I managed to go ahead and try to interpret the results. But my aim here was only to look, to, to show you how you perform an independent t-test using SPSS syntax. Now let me uh, show you how you can also do cross tabulation. I have moved back to our SPSS syntax. Let me add my comment again. Cross tabulation. of marital status. I want to look at marital status. And gender. Cross tabulation of marital status and gender. Then I move a bit down. Then write cross marital status or, or sex. You can say marital, you can start with any uh, marital status. Marital. Ma, it's ma, it's Ma status by sex. Cross ma status by sex, then slash sales. equal to count call dot so cross tabulation marital status and sex then we have one cells and count let me run this what do we get you find that the summary here and we have a cross tabulation which shows that male and female in a column and we have married, never married, uh, separated or divorced or, and widowed. So we have come up with a cross tabulation. This gender, it's a nominal variable or a categorical. This one is a categorical variable and we managed to come up with a cross tab or cross tabulation of the two variables so this is how you can look at two variables at a time either you can use the correlation you can use the independent t-test you can use the cross tabulation depending on the nature of the variable. I think this will help you to kickstart your venture into data analysis using SPSS syntax editor. Thank you for watching. Please share with your friends, subscribe, comment, and if you want any help, contact me through our Twitter page, Facebook page our YouTube uh, channel or use the contact form on
our website topresearchcenter.com. Thank you for watching. See you in the next lecture.